stage from Miami, Florida, in the zone! In fact, one of you has the key to enter this dimension. It's at the tip of your mind, the tip of your tongue. And in the moment, you're going to say it. This key is merely a word, a word that seems so random, yet will create this world that you're about to see for the next 20 minutes. So now I need to ask the one of you that has this word in your mind, please say it out now. Penguins! I heard penguins. <laughs> penguins is the key to this new dimension. Join us as we enter it now. We may not like what we find, but we have to take the journey anyway. <laughs> Catch my death of cold out there, Mark. <laughs> it's freezing out there. You need one of these. Thank you. It's got strength in my lungs. Hell of a job, huh? Man, you know, mapping the Arctic up here, it's not easy. No, it's not. Now, a couple scientists like us, though, it's. It's, it's, it's hard, it's hard work. It's hard work, it's lonely work, Mark. I gotta tell you something. I feel like I'm getting real, feeling real weird sometimes. You know, I, I miss human touch, human contact. Not to say I don't mind you, but you know what I mean? The, the hustle and bustle of the world. Just, you know, that, that, uh, that noise that happens in the background even when you're not listening. Oh. Just knowing that there are people out there. I just, I know that all there is the is and snow. Yeah, it's just the wind. Don't worry about then it. I want more than wind. I want, I want to hear streetcars and children playing and people going about their daily business. I'm not used to this. I'm a city man. I'm city scientist. We'll go home soon. It's a thing. We'll go home soon and we'll do something like, uh, I don't know, traffic patterns or something. Who knows? Maybe we'll make an electric car. Who knows? Meet Mark Johnson, age 32. He's a scientist that works for the government right now, doing a research study in Antarctica on birds, and arctic birds. Mark desperately wants to go home, and one day he will, but not in the way he thinks, for Mark's home will now and forever be in the zone. Well, that can't be right. What's up? These readings are strange. Yeah, those are the heat signatures. That makes no sense. Look, I'm going have, to have to ask you. Did you go out and check the third marker? Alright, I gotta put on the parker though. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to we are gonna have to put the parker on. You'll freeze before you get to the third marker. Uh, it's just so weird. There's nothing out of the third marker. Marker number three? Are you hey, sure about that? Look at this. The readings are the readings. Okay, alright, I'll go with that. Can you just uh, leave this burning for me? I don't wanna look. Oh my god. Here, there you go. <laughs> Here. Take the paper with you. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to read paper and die. You know what? Good. Thank you. What <laughs> <laughs> a day in this godforsaken. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh... Been meaning to go over to that lab of yours and say hello. What? 
Hard to get out though in this weather, right? Yeah, I guess so. A little good. nippy. Little nippy? Yeah. <laughs> it's like 50 below. <laughs> little nippy. <laughs> Mister, where are you from? You gotta put on a parka. You're just, you're just wearing a three-piece suit. I'm from here, friend. What? Yeah, I was be. just going over to the Five and Dime to pick up a pack. What? Uh, maybe some coffee. What are you talking about? <laughs> <some soaps? laughs> There's nothing here for for miles or so. Look, I need to get you to. We need to get you out of here. I found this here scientifical device. Yeah, I know what it is. is. We're studying <laughs> life life cycles out here. Penguins. You want to study life cycles? Come with the bar with me later. What? There's a lot of dames out there, classy dames. What are you talking about? I've oh. been here for three months and I know there's no bar or dames. They'll give you a dance for five cents. What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold Unless on. that's not your thing, I know another guy that can hook you up. Hey, you come on now. Hey, hey, just check it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> are you telling me there's stuff out here other than penguins? Of course, buddy. It's a big wide world out here. Just go a couple of blocks that way and it's crazy tonight. It's Saturday night, of course. Jeez, it feels like forever since I've celebrated Saturday night. <laughs> well, friend, I gotta go, but if you want to catch up with me, just head that way, okay? Okay. See yeah. you later. Just pass Marco Sharif. <laughs> Wait, where'd you go? What? <laughs> you didn't even walk, you just blew away. <laughs> hey, station, I'm coming back. I just, I feel like I'm coming down with something. Wake up, what? Next, right? I'll see you in a second, okay? I'm walking back! Associate, if you know what I mean. Ma'am? You got a light? Uh, yeah. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't realize there was anyone else out here. <laughs> I feel like no one knows there's anyone else out here. <laughs> Literally, no one else knows there's anyone out here. Well, have you come looking for us before? No. We've been here. The entire time. What's the name of this place? Johnny's. Johnny's Bar and Grill. Oh, they made food here as well. Well, we're working on the grill now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll just stick with the with the bag of falling yeah. nuts at the bar. Oh, thank you. Gin and tonic. I wasn't done with the gym, but okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Hey, friend, you sure you don't want to take off your coat? It's awfully hot in here. I took off the pocket, but I guess I could take off the sweater, too. There you go. Relax with yourself. I'm just hanging it up here. I'll take that. And your parka. Oh, okay. I need him back. <laughs> Looks Can't like go out there without that. Looks right. like Janine is sweet on you. Yeah. She's never sweet on nobody. <laughs> it's been a while. It has. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I, I need to tell you, you don't see a lot of people out in the Antarctic tundra. I don't know what you're talking about, pal, but Janine's right there if you want her. Being singles for the birds. Uh, hey, buddy. Yeah. You know what they say? Warning. Temperature low. What? Warning. Temperature low. Warning. Temperature low. Temperature Come low. in. Come in. Warning. Your temperature's too low. Mark, you gotta get back inside. Mark. Come in. Come inside. Bill. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh god! Oh my god! What are you doing? Oh. Where's your parka? Where's your sweater? I was at a bar. It was a Phil's Bar and Grill. They were working on the grill part. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
entire day. What? Yeah, that's impossible. I've been gone top 40 minutes. What? You've been gone all day. You oh, left Jesus, at 6 in the morning. Wow. What time's it now? It's like 7.15 at night. That doesn't make any sense. Phil, right, Phil, listen to me. I don't do a full 24 hours, but yeah, let's... Phil, Phil, listen to me. There's a, there's a whole town out there, all right? <laughs> There's a whole town out there, okay? <laughs> I met a guy, a guy who was messing with the sensor number three, all right? And then he's like, oh, there's a whole bunch of us. So I was like, that makes no sense. And he was like, oh, yeah, there is. And then uh, I kept walking, and I ended up in a bar. And there was a girl. There was a girl. Mark, there sensor was a number girl. three, and sensor number three is fine. What? Why did you go all the way out to marker three? You told me to. There was something wrong with it. Mark, you came in, you woke up. You got dressed and you walk right out that door and you get a chance to talk to you. Wait a minute, what are you saying? So I was saying? trying to reach you on the radio. No, no, no. You came back in and you did lefty loosey righty tiny. I was like, hey, what is going on? Like, I think oh, I know how to operate the hatch, Mark. <laughs> Look, I am telling you, you told me there was something wrong with marker number three. I went out to marker number three. There was a man in a three piece suit. He said, hey, come by sometime. And I did. I went to a bar. I had a gin and tonic. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the paper? Yeah, I always give you a paper before you leave. And you always say, I don't remember. I can feel like a real idiot having it in my back pocket okay. right here. Huh? Mark, are you okay? <laughs> oh, no, no, I know, I know I'm okay. Listen, I'm taking you out there. Put on your parka. I'm going to put on the extra parka. I'm taking you to that bar, okay? You're wearing my parka, so I'll wear the extra parka. Okay, fine. I'll put on a parka. Look, I feel like you should be more jazzed about this. There's a town out there. We'll see about that. <laughs> Cut you outside. <laughs> okay, here's marker number three. We just gotta walk a bit longer. It's too cold. Look, we just gotta push past this point. We'll find it. The storm is getting bigger and bigger, and they get separated into blizzards. <laughs> Sure, yeah. What? Oh, I'm okay. 
Let me put a coin in the jukebox, play something romantic or whatever. Let's actually dance to some music, not drink. <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to ask, but uh, why is everyone wearing tuxedos around here? It's never harmful to be fancy. It's always good to be fancy wherever you go. Would you like some sushi? Also, I'm pretty sure your wiener's gonna fall off if you stay on your wiener. <laughs> <laughs> 